example, if you got a phone call from your wife and not somebody broke open the front door, bust open the front door, and your wife and your kid are in the back bedroom, all right? Well, you're five, ten minutes away from the house. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to hang up the or tell her hang up the phone, call 911. You want law enforcement or police department to do their job. Um, if you have the opportunity while you're en route, you can call 911 as well. Once again, keep in mind that we want law enforcement to do their job. Um, but what if you live in a rural area, right? And law enforcement, their response time may be 25, 30 minutes away. So you pull up to the house, law enforcement is not on the scene yet. You have to make the decision on yourself. Do I wait for law enforcement to do their job or do I commit and, and try to protect my wife and kids, right? All right, so this is the front door of your house. You come home, you notice the door has been kicked open. I wanna try to get into this location uh, or into the front room as safely and as fast as I possibly can. What you see here are the shooters clearing the shoot house. They're actually moving room to room, but they're starting at the front door. They're moving from door one through the first room to the second room. What you'll notice is watch your finger, watch your muzzle, watch your safety. Safety is a key fundamental concern while we're going live fire in the shoot house. You got to keep that finger straightened off the trigger. You got to watch your muzzle where you're pointing it, whether it's pointing at a good guys, bad guys in the house. You've also got to watch when and where you take that safety off. Just to key off of what Jason said, I want you to consider right now we're in a sterile environment. It's kind of unrealistic because you should relate this back to your house. You're going in looking for bad guys, but you're also looking for good guys. Your loved ones may be in there, so that safety is paramount. You don't want to point your muzzle and attempt to cover someone that's your loved one. That's who you're trying to go in there and save. As the shooter starts here at the shoot house, Watch as they move up to the first door. You're gonna see two different entries here. One, the shooter's gonna go dynamic through the first door. Maybe he's moving from outside the house, inside the structure, the door's been kicked open or whatever it may be. They're gonna flow through there pretty quick. The next one's gonna be a deliberate clear where they're actually gonna slow down a little bit. Maybe I'm getting to the bedroom. I know I've got family members, loved ones, or bad guys in there. And I've gotta slowly slice the pie or pan as we say. Absolutely. We also want to talk about the difference between what you see us wearing here, which is full kit, plates, rifles. That's range rules. That's what we have to do for this segment. However, consider this. You're going, you're coming home from the grocery store. You're probably not going to have this equipment available to you. It's going to be a decision you have to make at that time. Trigger Time is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Drago Gear, DS Arms, First Spear, kel PNW Arms, Thunder Beast, Saber Red, Century Solutions, Delta Outdoorsman, Sport Optics, Fox Knives USA, 511 Tactical, and WW Guns.